here I am at Dollar Tree and I have a lot of things on my shopping list. I'm going to start this project with a couple of grease splatter screens. And then the next thing we're going to do is take the screen off and you can just push it off with your, th ouch, with your thumb. You do have to be careful those that um, screening is kind of sharp. We have this little cone that they sell at Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut off about, I don't know, about an inch. So I'm just gonna cut that just like that. There we go. So this is just a Dollar Tree candle holder, this glass, and we have our piece of foam. And then we have the two metal rings that were left when we took these um, screens out of the splatter guards. We want to take these rings and I want to cut right down through the styrofoam a channel that this ring can go, both of the rings can go right down through here. Highly recommend if you can get the other kind of styrofoam cone, you get it. Because you can see this is going to be a mess to clean up. You do need this to go far enough down that it's completely um, underneath the edge of the styrofoam. You see what I mean? It's not up, it's not like up here like this. Okay, and so I'm going to cut another one right next to it. It does not matter if they are um, totally in the middle. It just matters if they are deep enough for your, um, those rings to go all the way in there. and that one is also deep enough, okay? Now, before I go any further, I'm gonna clean up this mess so that you can see this without distraction. So we have our little piece of styrofoam with our two ridges cut in it, and I want this to stay attached really, really well, so I'm not just going to use hot glue, I am going to use some Gorilla Clear Grip and hot glue because I want it to stay right now. To try and get this in the center. Now, before you put your rings in, you want to make sure um, that there are no, uh, none of those little um, fine wires still. And there is a seam where they put this together and you want to make sure your seam goes down in. So you're going to push that. Well, so before we do that, we're going to put a little hot glue right down in that seam that we have cut right there. And then you're gonna put the seam 
with this seam on the inside. You want the pretty side on the outside. And you're gonna put that down in there. So I'm just gonna hang on to these for a few minutes until I'm sure that they are set. While I was waiting for this to dry, I figured out that um, a little mini glue stick cut in half gave it a little bit more support put right in, down in there. So I did that. Okay, I have some of that um, sequined ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to now take and put a little bit of hot glue on the back of it. And I'm just going to take and wrap that right around. It's going to fit right underneath there. Don't worry, that's not gonna show. And that will just cover up that styrofoam. It's not going to matter because we're gonna take our mirror and we're going to put it right down on here. And that's why it is really important that these um, go deep down in that foam, okay? Again, um, a generous amount of hot glue on the back of our mirror. And we're gonna put that right down onto, we wanna make sure that that is centered. I've turned this perpendicular so you can see, and I have the acrylic gems, and I'm going to just take the acrylic gems and put a little tiny dot of hot glue on one side and on the other side. And I'm going to take and put them right between our two silver rings. You're not gonna be able to see them much until I get up here. And just remember afterwards, you can always take a heat gun or a hair dryer on a hot setting and remove any of the excess glue or glue strings that are going to be attached here still. We have all of the acrylic gems all the way around, but I think I'd like to add a row of them down here also so that when the candle light is going, it just looks a little prettier. So I think I'm gonna just put a bead of um, hot glue right there and put some down and then I'll add to the bead of hot glue because I want them to stand up nicely. Here is our centerpiece, all glittery and silvery, all finished. And I decided that I wanted to, didn't like the candle holder I chose, that this little votive would be a little better, but I want to glitz it up a little bit. So, I'm just going to add those same gems that I've used, these, so that these will really adhere well. Instead of trying to stick the pointed end on, I am going to stick the flat end on. It will still add um, plenty of that glitter when the candle is on. And I'm just going to add these randomly around the outside of my little votive cup. And I'm just using hot glue for that. You can use E3000 or that Eileen's the ultimate, anything you want to make um, those stick. Um, I would suggest only using a flameless candle with this because you um, do have a bar right above here. So I don't want, you know, anything to, uh, don't want anything to get too hot. Now, before we're finished, I wanted to show you one different way. This is one I made a little bit differently um, that I tried first, and but I wanted to show you one other way that you could use this um, with flowers, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, believe it or not, I'm gonna put glue, hot glue right down on our mirror. And I have one of these small discs of foam like you can get at Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna put that right down on there and let that sit until it is sticking. I have all kinds of these pink Dollar Tree roses and you're gonna cut them off right up against the uh, stem as close as you can. 
and then add a little dollop of hot glue and we're just going to stick these right to the foam. And we're not just going to stick them there, we're gonna go and stick them up above that row. So we're gonna put two rows of them. I don't think we're gonna need a third. Oh, and if you cut them apart too much, the roses fall apart, but that's okay. We can just put some hot glue in there and kind of glue them back together. That's, that is what might happen when you start to cut those roses, when you cut that stem apart. But it's okay. Hot glue, duct tape, you know we, know, we know there's a lot of these things that'll fix all kinds of things. So you could see what I needed to do if, if I cut too much off. Now what I wanna do, I don't wanna go all the way on the top because I want to put our candle in there, but now I can see Need a couple more of our roses just to hide the last little bit of greenery from the styrofoam. And I can see I need one right here. So you could do this with any kind of flowers. You could actually do this with uh, fresh flowers and use um, some, you know, fresh floral foam. So it's kind of big, but I really like that. And now all you have to do is put your little votive in there and you have centerpiece. So I'm gonna take this out where it's a prettier place to, sh to uh, video these and show them to you. With only dollar store supplies, look what you can make, whether you want a centerpiece with flowers or you want something just with candles. This'll add some sparkle to your tabletops. So start thinking what you might create and head off to the dollar store and get crafting.